nine foot six, eh? Thank you very much for calling. Let's go to line... Speaking of nine foot six, let's go to line six. Hello, line six. You're on the wireless. Hello, line six. Oh, hello, Ian. It's Tommy. <laughs> Tommy who? Uh, not Tommy, actually. Tony. Tony Bond, yeah. Tony, Tony Bond. I recognise your voice. Didn't you used Tony to do Bond. the... You used to do the, um, the announcements at the post office counters. The thing I... The thing I... The thing, I, the thing about snowflakes is they say that everyone... Is different. Have you heard that? I've I've heard um, boring people in pubs bring that up. Yes, but, but how, that can't be true. How do they know that? For those for those people <laughs> under the age of forty five, I should point out this is uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tommy Boyd, uh, Terry Boyle. <laughs> yes, uh, one of the one of the greats of uh, the the old style of radio. I think it would be fair to say. I uh, great. That's true. <laughs> Who who would be boring enough to go around and look at every snowflake and, and say, yep, different, uh, uh, different... Yeah, well, uh, I mean, it's one of the many uh, unexplained yes. things, isn't it, really? See, yeah. I don't believe there's ever any such thing as the hydrogen bomb, I think. What? Well, you know, Sorry? Uh, there's lots of, there was loss of life and it was appalling, but it, I don't yeah. think there ever was one. Well, what do you think, what do, what do you think it was? Well, interestingly enough, I mean, I mean, if you want to get heavy about it, I really do think that there's some explaining that needs to be done. Okay. How? Three, three nights before Hiroshima. Hang on, this is three, supposed to be a Christmas special, and suddenly you're talking about Hiroshima. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, uh, well, it's sort of 360 awareness, you think. 360 <laughs> awareness. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man, I love you. I, yes. I've, I've just decided to take up well, Chris Hutchins, but may rest yes. in peace. Yes. Uh, Hutchins, the uh, Chelsea footballer. No, Chris Hitchens. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, uh, left off. He was a, described today as a liberal interventionist, and mm. I think that's what I'd like to be. That's that, you've made that decision and you're going to move into that now? from. Well, yes, because he was a liberal, like yes. me. He believes yes. in people and he believes in the future. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, he was prepared to sort of kick ass. Can you say ass? Uh, you can say ass, yes. A horrible well, Americanism, kick but you can, say, you can say kick ass, yes. Kick ass, Good kick, film. kick ass. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. what I'd like to be. Just um, yeah. annoying people a little bit out of their, out of their mediocrity. Yes. Rather like Socrates did, or tried to, before they killed him. Yes. Okay. Have you been? Have you started smoking marijuana, Tommy? Well, uh, what have you got? <laughs> I got some great Nepalese. No, let's let's move uh, uh, away from uh, away from away from away from uh, suggesting that the use of drugs is normal. I don't actually smoke marijuana. No. I um I, I tried it when I was in America in 1974. I think it was. That, I didn't... that was the good stuff as well. Then there. Yeah. Was a good yeah year. And I enjoyed it then, and we were yes. all. Um, you yes. know, trying to ban the bomb and, and get to get us out of Vietnam. The bomb that doesn't it was exist. Then, but uh, somehow it, it doesn't. For me, it doesn't travel across the Atlantic. It, it's no. somehow something wrong about. Well, they have, they have sniffer dogs, don't they? You have to be so careful these days. It's that. Yes. It's that. But just as they can't do eight pints, yes, the Americans, yes, you can't we can't do, do joints. soft drugs. No. We we can't do class C no. drugs. No. We're no. pathetic at it. Yes, yes. So we should leave it alone. Yeah, 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 uh, I, I agree, I agree. We should leave it all alone. Why, hey, listen, man, why do we need anything to alter our consciousness? Isn't the world beautiful enough as it is? Yes, it is, but, but, but there, there are occasions stop, when stop lying the... on your back... What? Stop there, then. That's, that, that, You're that's worried it. that I'm going to promote the use of drugs. Of course I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm worried. You, you, listen, you've agreed with me. That's all you, that's all you need mm-hmm. to do, Tommy. You, you don't need to... Listen, you, do, do you go a day without being contrary... Well, I, 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 I uh, no, <laughs> no. Have, have, do you, have you watched the fantastic series Curb Your Enthusiasm? Oh, it's fantastic. He reminds me not, so not, much not, of you. Not as, not as funny as it would be if Larry David had got somebody else to play him. Yeah, like you, you for example, because okay. he's a brilliant comedy writer. I was on the list but for he, it, but he can't quite perform it. No, but, you'd, you'd be good he, doing something like that. Pardon? Hello, you'd be good at doing something like that. Uh, you don't yeah, want I would, to. Yeah. You say you don't I haven't want found to, anything but... I'm not good at, but no. that's what gets boring about life. I, I really want to find a challenge in life, something that I can't do, and then okay. really, okay. really sort of go at it. He, okay, here's a challenge for you. Go on, then. Get a job. Oh, I've got a job. We're doing what? I'm not telling you. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I've got a job, and I'm not telling you what it is. Well, give, just give me a hint. No. Well, does it involve... Wait, does it involve broadcasting? No. Does it involve road sweeping? No. Selling the big issue? No. Making love to international ladies? Of course, I've done all of the four that you've made <laughs> so far. Yes, I love you so much. I didn't, I didn't return your phone call the other day because I get quite anxious phoning people up. 
You are, you, you, I, I've got you down still as a funny boy. Yeah, well, you should see what we talk, say about you behind your back. But I, I do, I get very uncomfortable fo- making phone calls. Do you not? Yeah. Do, you, do you enjoy... Well, there's a, there, I'll tell you another com- comedy show yes. that you and I should like, even though it was a sense of envy because he's yeah. done better than he deserves to, and that's Seinfeld. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a, a line in that from George, which is when Jerry says that I really don't want to go and meet this guy. And George looks at him and says, I've never wanted to go and meet anybody I've got an appointment to meet. Perfect. Ever. Perfect. Absolutely. That's me. Totally. I hate me you. Me too. The reason me I, too. I, 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 I was as invited... As, I've got to put on, uh, as soon as I've got to put on a shirt and tie, yeah. I immediately don't want to do whatever it is I've agreed to do. And I, then I get there and I like the guy yeah. or the girl or whatever, yeah. and I don't want to leave. Oh, I, I, I want to leave immediately. I'm con- I, I was invited to a to kind of a works Christmas do this afternoon for, for a TV show. My agent was going, Ian, you must go. It will look really good if you go there. And just the thought of being in a room full of people and having to make conversation, I can't do it. I can't do it. I once turned round and came back from something I was supposed to yeah. do, which was a thing called the Six O'Clock Show on Thames Television. Way I remember back it with, with Michael Aspel, yes. Yeah, with my guy. Yeah, mm. and I was due to go. And I got to Clapham Junction, and I, I got off and got on a train from wow. Clapham Junction to home, and I just, I don't want to do this. Yeah. The only time I've ever done it, um, and Danny Baker, who was part of that show, is, is quite famous for not meeting people. Right. You, you can ring up his agent and say, we'd really like Danny Baker to do this, that, and the other, um, but we'd obviously have to come and meet him and sort of talk about it first of all, and he'd say, no, Danny doesn't meet people. Wow. He, he, he just doesn't. Yeah. Why not? He, he doesn't want to. Oh, I wish I had that buffer to protect me, but I'm, I'm constantly being encouraged. This is why my career has started, one of the many reasons, because I, I don't like meeting people, and when I do, I'm a little bit surly. Not out of arrogance, it's out of shyness and awkwardness. Yeah, well, uh, Danny's agent stutters, so maybe you, the two... I don't know. Maybe there's something in that. Maybe there's something in that. Anyway, um, yes. it, I'm glad you're on this radio station, because I think that, um, that uh, Tony is a, a forward-thinking man. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you laughing? Oh, I've got no idea what you're wittering on about now. But I just no, love no, listening no. to you. I wish you what get what. Listen, I, I, I'm going to say the thing that people say to me, and of course, it's not as easy as this. But get your ass on the radio again, Boyd. For God's sakes! Why? I've spent a oh. few years talking to pieces of electrical equipment. I mean, just yeah. analyse what you're doing at the moment, oh, my oh, man. Oh, analyse oh, what oh, you're don't. doing. You are sitting in a room yeah. largely surrounded by glass. Yeah, and yeah. pieces of machinery that yeah. had electricity running through them. Exposed and you were talking to these pieces of electrical equipment as if they're human beings. Yeah, yeah. And there's somebody at the other side of a glass screen who is half paying attention, half answering phones... He's turning his half... hand in like a circle in the air. I don't know what that means, but he's, he's saying yeah. something there. Yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, there, there comes a point when <laughs> you don't want to do it anymore. I, uh, do you know what? I kind of know what you mean. This is probably the last time I'm going to do a show like this, where it's all a little bit crazy. Because I've been doing this for like seven years, and I'm a bit... <sighs> it's hard to... I'm enjoying tonight, but it's hard to muster up the enthusiasm. Well, the thing is that you, you feel that there's always um, the, the, the big success that, that, that falls upon people like, say, for example, Ali G. Yes, I remember him. Yes. Um, is around the corner for all of us. Yes. And it, and, and, and it can be, it can mm. be, but it, it, often it's a bit like, um, it's a bit like, I don't know if you've ever had a cat screaming in the middle of the night and you look out the bedroom window trying to look for it and it's a black cat yep. and you can't see it until you look away from where the scream is. Yep. And I think life's a bit like that. If you stop trying sometimes, it's like playing golf. You don't find your lost ball until you stop looking and then, oh, there it is. Wise words, wise I, words. Well, well, no, not really, but, you know, it's good. Tommy, it's lovely to talk to you. I will give you a call tomorrow. There we go. If I commit to making a phone call, then I do it. OK. You, you should just have a swig of tea, then. Were you using my little... No, I'm actually drinking a very mediocre Rioja <laughs> in anticipation of getting up for um, a programme that you'll probably tape, which is Have I Got News. Although it's gone off the boil lately. It, it has. I don't, really, I don't really watch TV anymore. It's, I find it all quite depressing and, and uh, tepid and bland. Well, I used to have a line that was pertinent, which was Noel Coward. Television, dear boy, is not for watching, it's for being on. Yes, it, well, the, to, to quote incorrectly, it's for appearing on. But never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tommy, yeah. by the way, uh, w- 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 uh, let's, let's go smoke and mirrors a little bit. Wasn't it fun having that argument on the radio? Yeah. I do, I, do, do, we, got, we got written up in, uh, I think, The Guardian know, the Observer by Miranda Sawyer, and, and uh, it, was, it was lovely. I know, and various people couldn't make up their minds whether no. it was real or no. not. And that is the, that's, what, that's what I'd like to do best of all. Yeah. Have people wondering whether it's real or not. That's the beauty of because it. Because a bit like the Higgs boson thing, yeah. 
Huh? Is life real or not? Are we actually here? What is going on? Does it really matter? No, and yet don't we worry about it? Yeah. Tommy, I love you. I love you too. Even though we've never met, well, I love no? you. And one day, one day we might do. Maybe not this night. Haven't we met someone in that? Sorry? Who was that girl? And you do look like Liza Minnelli, a little bit like Liza. <laughs> You're such a... Let you me do say, look you... a little bit like Liza Minnelli. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to live up... I'm going to do one of my ambitions. I'm going to cut you off now. OK, bye. There we go. It was Tommy Boyd, the, the, the absolute legend.